Hello. In this presentation, you'll be given a brief history on phase change materials at SunAMP. So, in this presentation, we'll cover the history of PCMs, or phase change materials, how they work, the difference between sensible and latent heat, a different way of generating domestic hot water, and an overview of the company more generally. So, um, as for a history of phase change materials, um, Joseph Black is was a British chemist from the 18th century, best known for the discovery of fixed air, or carbon dioxide, uh, the concept of latent heat, and the discovery of bicarbonates, such as bicarbonate of soda. In 1761, he deduced that the application of heat to ice at its melting point does not cause a rise in temperature, but an increase in the amount of water in the mixture. Additionally, Black discovered that the application of heat to boiling water does not result in a temperature rise of the water-steam mixture, but rather an increase in the amount of steam. From these observations, he concluded that the heat applied must have been combined with the ice particles and boiling water to become latent, uh, which we will further discuss later in the presentation. Moving forward some 150 years, uh, Maria Telkis is considered one of the founders of solar thermal storage systems, earning her the nickname the Sun Queen. She was, ha she was a prolific inventor of uh, practical thermal devices, including miniature desalination units uh, for use on lifeboats and downed aircraft during the Second World War, uh, which used solar power to con uh, and condensation to collect potable water. This kit saved the lives of airmen and sailors who would have been without water if shot down or abandoned at sea. She was involved in the first pa um, passive house and later moved to the USA in 1970s and consulted with uh, a variety of startup solar companies, including Northrop Solar, which subsequently became Arco Solar and eventually uh, PB Solar. Moving on some 70 years from the, uh, from the 1948 Sun House uh, by Maria Telkis, the University of Edinburgh are SunAMP's research and development partner, partner and an instrumental in the development of the PCM P58. What is a phase change material, or a PCM? A phase change material is a material that absorbs and or releases energy at a constant temperature as it undergoes a phase change, for example, melting or freezing. This means they can effectively be utilized for both heating and cooling. There are broadly two types of PCMs, organics and inorganics. Inorganic PCMs are salts, salt hydrates, nitrates, and metallics with high heats of fusion. They're non-flammable, cheap, and readily available. Organic PCMs include paraffins, fatty acids, and polyethylene glycols. PCMs have a wide variety of melting points, and thus different PCMs may be suitable for different applications. Now to the difference between sensible and latent heat. Sensible heat refers to the heat you can feel or sense. This is any heat which can be measured on a thermometer, whether it is the heat from the sun shining on a sunny day or the flame of a candle. When an object is heated, the object's increase in temperature is its sensible heat. Similarly, when heat is removed from an object, the temperature falls, and this is also its sensible heat, because the, this is the heat you can feel. When we talk about latent heat, we're often referring to the change in state of an element. Solids can become liquids, and liquids can become gases. For example, ice cream can become um, ice can become water, and water can evaporate into water vapor. The energy that causes these changes in states is the latent heat. Latent means hidden, and latent heat isn't something you can feel. It most often refers to the energy involved in a change of state. Going back to Joseph Black, uh, Black's work earlier, he called this the hidden or latent heat. As an example, if you had a pan of water at 20 degrees and started heating it on the stove, if you put a thermometer in, you'd see that the temperature of the water, its sensible heat, increases from 20 degrees up to 100 degrees Celsius. But once the water reaches 100 degrees, the temperature stops increasing, with the water now boiling. This is the latent heat of the water, as it takes an energy to change phase from liquid to gas, without changing in temperature. Where sensible heat is the vibrational energy of the molecules in a substance, latent heat is the energy needed to weaken the bonds between these molecules. Sensible heat storage is the type you've likely already come across in the likes of hot water side cylinders, where SunAMP uses latent heat as of a material undergoing a phase change as well as its sensible heat. A heat battery can be up to four times smaller than a traditional hot water cylinder, as PCMs can absorb four times more energy via latent heat 
than heating a traditional cylinder, which uses 4,200 joules of energy per litre of water to raise it by one degree. We see this in Sunlamp's plenty grade P58 PCM, which can store as much as four times the energy of a hot water cylinder over the same temperature range. You should now have a better understanding of how PCMs work. Now, using this knowledge, we c this c innovates a new way of generating domestic hot water. The plenty grade P58 PCM provides a different way of generating hot water in our Fermino line. It is a cost effective, being comparable in price to hot water cylinders and with a lower total cost of ownership. It is also modular with a cuboid shape, making it more compact and space efficient. Besides this, it also doesn't require an unvented kit, doesn't need a D-strap pump, needs no safety valve zones, and doesn't require powered anode. Water cylinders have several key disadvantages as well. These include longer heat up time due to pressure drop at the coil surface, potential limescape buildup, which will decrease domestic hot water, immersion heat directly on the domestic hot water, Legionella cycles and pasteurization, the need for unvented systems kit and safety valve zones due to G3 building regulations, requires a quali qualified engineer to inst install and annual safety checks, and there is likely to be a D-strap pump for circulation, which adds to cost and maintenance. Now, as so to the benefits of Sunamp's heat batteries, these include its as mentioned before, it's compact size, which makes insulation more flexible. There is no mandatory man uh, maintenance requirements. It works with AS ASHP electric, solar, PV, and district heating, and thus has many different heat sources. There are no requirements for invented certification. It is fully recyclable at the end of its life, has been tested for 50 years worth of cycling, and has a 10 year warranty. It also has no moving parts, and has a very low risk of Legionella. Thank you. This should give you a better understanding of PCMs and, the, and how they are applied at Sunamp.